Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thor and let me in today's video share with you my number one doubt, my number one <laughs> uncertainty. And uh, if there is nothing I worry more, if there is nothing more difficult for me, it's uncertainty. Doubt is the worst thing for me. There is nothing that really breaks me down more than doubt. And I think I finally understand why. I care deeply about being right. I care deeply about being able to understand. I care deeply about having an accurate awareness of the world. I pride myself on being able to understand other people. I pride myself on being able to understand systems. I pride myself on having awareness of the world and of understanding the world. There is nothing that is more important to me. Now, this is why I doubt. I doubt because I care so much. And the doubt is the other side of that coin. I want to understand and therefore I fear, there, therefore there is no greater fear than to not understand. The worst thing that I could ever experience is to feel like I had misguided other people. The worst thing that I could possibly experience personally is that sense, this experience of not being able to provide awareness and insight into people's lives and into their issues. The thing I score myself on on YouTube, it's not the likes on my videos, it's not the amount of views I get, but it's what I what my videos do for the people who watch them it is feeling that I have been able to guide other people that I have been able to be a mentor to other people that I have been able to make other people feel confident in their decisions in their life in who they are if there's something I pride myself on it's being able to help people understand each other it's being able to help people in relationships understand each other, being able to help people know themselves better. So every time I make a video I struggle with this number one question. Do I think this message will help anyone? Do I think this message will have an impact on other people? Do I think it would have a good impact on other people? And the worst thing for me is when that answer is no. You, as a viewer, you might not be here with me behind the scenes. You might not stand behind me as I delete videos, as I edit things out, as I cut things, as I do retakes, as I start over. Sometimes these experiences can be grueling. I can spend hours trying to make a video and sometimes nothing happens. And sometimes I hit flow and then I can't really stop putting out videos. When I started making videos I could talk for maybe five minutes a video, sometimes three minutes. And I couldn't go beyond that because that's when I started feeling stupid. I uh, feel like what I pride myself on is being able to go deep in my videos. Ideally, I want to be able to hit as deep as possible with what I say. Imagine looking at things, looking at the videos. I look at the, my videos and I ask myself these things. Is what I'm saying accurate? Does what I say go deep enough? Does what I say help people? Does what I say make the world a better place? And that question of if it goes deep enough, that, that brings up the authenticity of the content in itself. I, when I write, when I publish articles, when I do things, I want it to be 
to the point where people feel like I am describing their soul and I want to describe my own soul and I want to reach that ideal answer that purest form, that purest idea of how the world works. And uh, I want to truly understand, I want to find the right reason why people do what they do. I don't want to find a fake reason, I don't want to hear the surface idea, I don't want to give you the shallow thing you already know, I don't want to tell you something you already know, I don't want to go in circles, I don't want to repeat myself. I want to go beyond what people previously thought. I want to exceed what people used to know while remaining truthful and authentic with what I say. So I pride myself on originality and that's also an uh, ever-increasing source of judgment for me is looking at my videos and feeling if I can expand from where I am now, if I can hit the next level. And the way I felt lately is that I hit the roof. I felt lately like, yes, my videos are good and yes, I think they are, like, I think they help people. But I feel like I've gone in circles for a while. And I've kind of felt like I'm standing and I'm waiting to hit that next level. I'm waiting to get to that next level where I can actually... Here's what I see in my simulator mode. This is what I envision myself being able to do. It's being able to just look at someone and to understand their emotional struggles, their emotional dilemmas, their needs, and how I can respond to them. That's the ideal thing I see myself doing. Just being able to watch a complete stranger and experience intense understanding of that person and to find the answer I can give that person to resolve their issue, or at least to find that question that opens them to find a solution to their own problem. That's the ideal version I see myself of the hero me that I wish I was. But often I am not quite there. Often I stand down and I feel like I'm not sure, like I don't know. Sometimes I feel like that disconnected and that's also like why it's so difficult because I feel it makes me feel disconnected from other people to look at them to not understand to listen to someone and to not know why they say it why they do it and to not be sure if my answer that I provided for them actually helps them to give them an answer but to look at them and notice that this answer is not going to help them and it's an ever it's an eternal journey, really. I, as a kid, as a 13-year-old, I set myself out to, I wrote down this goal of mine. My goal was to understand everything about everything. That was my goal as a 13-year-old. And I knew the naivety of that goal, even as a 13-year-old. I understood that that's impossible. But I said to myself, but I will do it anyway. So I went on this journey to learn, to this journey of knowledge, in a sense. I studied all subjects of the world greedily. I studied physics, I studied rhetoric, I studied psychology, I studied everything. And to me, the human mind is just like the universe. It's like a, the universe on a micro scale. It's the human, the evolutionary map of the universe and if you study the human mind then you study the universe and uh, if you understand the human mind then you can understand the universe because the human mind is programmed to be able to to be like this map of it all every answer we have hit, reached through science uh, e equals mc2 square <laughs> mc square like uh, all of those questions uh, can be found derived from the mind. I believe if you ask uh, a person who has never studied anything, who's never opened a book, who's lived on the street their entire life, you can, by psychology, by listening, reach the answer to anything. If you promote authenticity, if you promote clarity, if you promote harmony, 
as that value of uh, resonating with the universe and resonating with things and studying things of observing and learning and growing now that's why I also want to be honest uh, with my videos I am not a scientist and sometimes people come to me and they go so where is the neuroscience to back this up they ask me like where is the science to back this up what is the actual science about this what do you mean when you say imagination what do you mean when you say storytelling and um, I believe scientists are important I believe it's important that we have people that go into neuroscience that study neuroscience that dig up articles and dig up research I think that's awesome but I don't see my role in all of this as the role of a scientist. I believe that even if we go into science and we find out what neurons fly up during what times and what the experiences, we still need people who can understand this from a social point of view. We still need people that can take this research and can bring truthful insights into what this means for people on the overall scale, what it means to the individual. What does it mean when you talk about counterfactual thinking in neuroscience? And I see myself as that person. I see myself as a person that makes people understand the complex nature of the universe from a social and uh, almost fictional or literary point of view, because that's who humans are. Humans are social beings, fictional beings, that think in literary terms, in stories, in values, in beliefs, in ideologies. And I want to end this video talking about the future of this channel. Because I envision myself doing more and going deeper in my videos than I do right now. I don't know how I will do that. I don't know what I can do to hit that next level, but that's my vision for this channel. I see a channel that promotes an educational content uh, that provides people with insight bits, uh, that helps people, like every video should not get a like necessarily, but <laughs> an insight button. I want an insight button on my, on my YouTube videos where people a book you can click on, where you feel like, yes, this gave me like awareness into something, this helped me understand something, that's what I want, I don't want the likes, I don't want the dislikes, That those things we can throw out the window, but I want a book and uh, I want the people to feel understood and I want people, and I want this understanding to bring increased harmony to the world and to people I want it to decrease conflicts in the world, I want it to decrease violence and war in the world I want it to promote community and cooperation and mutual understanding of people's differences and I want it to promote diversity. And I don't think I'm there yet. I don't think my book, my ebook, went far enough yet. I don't think my videos and my answers go deep enough yet. I still worry that sometimes I'm too stereotypical, too superficial too limiting, too narrow, too constraining. But one day, I will go beyond it all. One day, I will understand. One day, I will hit deep enough. And that is why I make videos. Because the only way to get to that one day is this day. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you guys in my live stream that I will be that will be happening around 18 uh, at GMT plus one <laughs> Swedish or Amsterdam time. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you guys tonight.